National Geographic Kids have set a new Guinness World Records title for the world's smallest magazine cover using IBM technology. The microscopic magazine cover was unveiled today in Washington DC at the USA Science and Engineering Festival. It's so small that 2,000 of them can fit on a grain of salt. The winning cover was selected from five options voted on by thousands of kids and adults. To create more energy efficient clouds and crunch big data faster, a new generation of technologies are needed, spanning from new transistors to quantum computers. But before these technologies go into mass production, new techniques are needed to create microscopic prototypes. IBM scientist Armin Knoll explains. So this is a nanoscale chiseling machine. Basically you can use it in order to um, create three-dimensional structures at the nanoscale with very high precision. So uh, similar than removing um, with a chisel stone from a big plate of stone, here you can use this device and use a very hot tip in order to chisel away material from a polymer film. Now you can do that with such a precision which is unprecedented. And in that sense, you can use it as a scientific tool in order to build uh, prototyping devices, um, which you cannot build with any other um, tools so far. To achieve this, IBM scientists have invented a tiny chisel made of silicon with a sharp apex which can be heated. This chisel is 100,000 times smaller than a pencil point, and like a 3D printer, the apex can evaporate material to create patterns and structures like the cover of National Geographic Kids. IBM scientist Colin Rawling explains how the microscopic cover was created. It started with National Geographic giving us a, a JPEG image, so a normal web type image of the, the cover that they wanted us to produce, which had been voted for by their readers. And then we take this image and turn it into black and white. And so with this uh, grayscale, as we would call it grayscale image, we use the the brightness of each point in the image to control how strongly we push the tip into the surface. And this pressure then translates to how much plastic we remove, how much polymer we remove from the surface. So in the end, once we've uh, made this translation from brightness to force, we then start our tip moving over the surface of the polymer sample, and at each point it's pushing into the sample and removing material. And so in the end, what you see here is that after we've written the pattern, we come back and read it to see how things have gone. And now what you see on the screen is really the depth that we've, uh, of, the, of the sample once it's been written into. So these black areas are the deepest parts of the sample, and they're now some, I think, 40 nanometers deeper than the upper layer of the surface. And so in the end, we've taken a, a picture and turned it back into a picture. IBM has licensed the technology to a startup based in Switzerland called Swiss Litho, who are bringing the technology to market under the name Nano Fraser. Just a few weeks ago, they shipped the first Nano Fraser to McGill University in Canada. This is Anne-Marie Cromack reporting.